Hey everyone, Mtash here with my first Monster Hunter guide. I'm very excited to share this with you. I'm loving this game so far, like 9.5 out of 10, 10 out of 10. It's great. I wanted to show you an early game build that is going to help you kick the shit out of anything. Now you have to get a little bit lucky with the Charge Blade because it requires the Raffian Plate, which is the luckiest drop from him. But if you're able to farm it up, Dear Ludimus will carry you for like 30 hours. I am I think I'm 30, 35 hours in, and I still don't have an upgrade to this weapon. This Charge Blade is so good so early that you will kick the shit out of everything. I would really recommend grinding the Raffian to try and get this because you're not going to find an upgrade for some time. This is, um, I chose ones that just give you a good overall value for what you're getting, and they're easy to get. So the Vespoid Helmet uh, gives you Quick Sheath, which is great for putting away your weapon if you need to heal, or if you need to get out of the way, dodge, whatever. Uh, bone Mail, this one's not great. The chest pieces aren't that great early on, but the attack bonus from the Bone Mail is going to be a little bit helpful, but honestly, you'll replace that in a while. The Kestodon Guards, though, these are going to be on your account for a while. Farm for the Kestodon Guards, I'll talk about it in a little bit once I show you all the skills. Uh, but another one is the Jagras Coil. This is one that lasted me like 10, 15, maybe even 20 hours because it's so good overall, especially when you're learning new monsters. Uh, the Alloy Greaves, again, this is kind of just a bang for your buck thing. Uh, early on, it has the best bonus. And for the Charm, don't worry about the Charm. You're not going to have the Charm. This is like probably 15 hours into the game that you get the Charm. Um, don't worry about it. You'll be able to make these later. You'll be able to kind of optimize your build with the Charms down the road. But early on, that's not a big deal. So the attack boost is just going to give you a tiny, tiny little boost. For the most part, it's not a big deal. Uh, that attack boost isn't going to do a lot for you, but there's no other great alternative early on. Fortify, however, is fantastic. Every time you die, you get a buff. And you can stack it twice, so you can get 20% attack damage and 30% defense. Huge. Quick Sheath, as I said, is just good for, um, you know, if you have to sprint away, if you need to get a heal off, whatever. But Speed Sharpening is a nice, nice thing from the boots, allowing you to sharpen up your blade faster and do more damage with it. As well as chop off, you know, tails and things like that. But Affinity Sliding, this is a bad boy. Every time you slide down a hill, you're going to get a 30% critical, uh, critical boost. Affinity is your crit chance, essentially. So you can slide down a hill unload mayhem on your opponent and knock him over, kill him, sever a tail, whatever it might be, affinity sliding is great. Now, if you're wondering to yourself, well, where do I go from here? I've got the armor set, what do I do next? One of the things I recommend hunting for is the Diablo set. Now, Diablos is a little bit daunting when you first start the game, but if you know how to beat him, he's actually pretty easy. You can kind of cheese him with screamer pods, and it stuns him really, really long. So, you can murder Diablos, you can hunt for his set, and this is going to be a huge spike in power for your character. It's got a lot of armor on it, which allows you to tank hits from bigger enemies, and, you know, the perk set is pretty damn good overall. The set bonus isn't anything crazy. As your weapon loses sharpness, you do a bit more damage. Uh, it also does a nice boost to your ranged weapon, so I kind of like it for that. It's very versatile overall, um, but it's not amazing. Bludgeoneer isn't, like, god tier or anything like that. However, if you get a KO charm, and you're using something like a hammer or a charge blade, there are situations where this 20% stun power allows me to stun lock some of the enemies. It's great. It's fantastic. Tremor resistances, meh. It, it doesn't do a whole lot. But there's a nice, uh, a nice little combo here down below. So I'll talk about it more in a second, but Critical Draw is great because you're going to pull out your weapon and you're going to get some bonus affinity, which allows you to get some crit damage. Uh, but Capacity Boost. This is big if you're using a Charge Blade because it gives you an extra file, which allows you to unload more damage on your enemy. But if you're not using it, you could switch out your pants for something else. But Affinity Sliding. Again, as I said before, you slide down the hill, you get the bonus to your affinity. You can mix these two, Critical Draw and the Affinity Sliding, and get a huge combo, a huge boost to your affinity, and murder everything. So this is my current build. This is actually my build 20, 30 hours into the game, and I'm doing fantastic. I can take on any enemy, and there's upgrades to be made. I just don't have them yet, 30 hours into the game. So if you can get this set pretty early, you're going to be laughing. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.